Hi everyone, welcome to Suresh Techs. If you are visiting our channel for the first time or if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe Suresh Techs. So in our previous tutorial, we had seen about basic tags in HTML and we wrote a simple program. We wrote a simple program to demonstrate those tags. And now in this tutorial, we will try to review all the four lessons we had learned till now. In our first tutorial, we had seen about a person example. Consider person A wants to communicate with person B. So there should be a common language. So similarly, similarly in the case of a browser and a website, there should be a common language and that is none other than an HTML. And then we had seen about the structure of the course, HTML, CSS, JavaScript and React. We start with HTML followed by CSS, JavaScript and finally we see React. And we had seen about the tags, elements and the editor. Tag basically starts with a less than symbol followed by the tag name and then a greater than symbol. And the element will have a start tag, content and then an end tag. And similarly, uh, the editor which we are using in this tutorial is Notepad++. And then we had seen a simple program which looks something like this. Which looks something like this. We had placed an HTML and said that we had placed a head which will have a title which will display in the... Which will display here. Right. We had seen about a simple text and a title program and then the basic tags we had seen headings attributes all these tags we had covered now so this is what we had seen in our previous example right we had seen about the paragraph body html and all today uh, just to refresh i'll try to create a new project so whenever we start writing a new application we start with html and then we will close it so this will basically tell us that we are working with an html document and and then we will keep another element called body so this is basically the body of the document so html 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 says we are working with an html document and body says the body of the document that we are going to work so body is basically the one which is going to display on the screen right let me save this with say review.html and in the down you have save as type just change it to html and then save it now so we had seen about different tags such as paragraph paragraph header and all right so many people are telling that even though they are not ending the tags, still the code is working, right? Code will work, but that's not a good practice to do. So consider I have a paragraph or consider I have an heading, right? I'll write Suresh text, right? If I save this, okay? And if I open that project, Right, review. Opening with the Chrome and see this will work. Though though you haven't closed it will work, but it's not a good practice to do. This is not a good practice to do. Though the browser can understand, though the browser can keep an end tag for you, but we should always keep an end tag. And we had seen about the heading tags. Let's see about different heading tags from h1 to h6 right let's see let me save this and then refresh it all right so we had seen about the different heading tags and then let's see about a paragraph So we had seen about pre tag. We 
welcome welcome right so we had seen about all this now if I refresh this so this will work so this, this is how the different tags will work now one thing here since we are working with an HTML so we need to tell to the SEO in the search engine optimization so we should always keep something like this the document type is HTML so we are telling to the SEO that this document is of type HTML so that's why we specify it as doc type followed by HTML since we are dealing with the HTML program so you have to say doc type HTML now and similarly we had seen about um, break right consider you have some data here consider you have you have a paragraph hmm. so consider you have a paragraph here so there is a text there is some text right let's see how does it looks like so it's like this so if you keep another paragraph below this so it looks like this so if you want a break in between these two so you could keep something called BR so BR is a break right if you want to provide some break you could use that so now you could see there is a break in between these two tags are now there is a break in between these two paragraphs now here the br is called an empty tag so empty tag is nothing but a tag which will not have a content so br does not have a content because it will just break a line similarly hr which provides an horizontal rule which provides an horizontal rule that will also not have a content so that is also called an empty so that is also called an empty tag so the tags which will not have the content are called the empty tags and uh, I think that's it we had seen in our previous section and similarly we had seen about uh, the attributes right we had seen about some attributes so I think that's it uh, so if you refresh this right there is an horizontal line so these are called the empty tags and this is what this is the new thing we had learned today and uh, I think that's it uh, so headings attributes paragraphs breaks pre element and then head right so this is what we had seen till now I think this is good enough thank you so much please do subscribe to Tags.